to share with you guys first before we actually head to the lorry and we sort everything out in the lorry and I just know that if we get into the lorry all we're going to hear is pitter patter pitter patter on the roof with rain. So I thought we'd start it at home in my office and I'll share with you the amazing items that are going into my lorry. So I just want to start off by thanking Lemieux so much, one for collaborating with me on this video and two for providing me with all the amazing items you've sent over for my lorry and for Ringo. So without further ado, let's begin the video. I'm going to show you everything that I have in this amazing unboxing. Then we're going to head to the yard, put everything away in the lorry. I'm going to show you all of the other items that I have in the lorry, including things like pooper scoopers and all of that kind of jazz once we get to the yard. To get cosy, grab a cup of tea. I've just had mine. I have the pumpkin spice candles lit by the side of me because, because we are now in the autumn and this is my favourite time of year. I'm the new Liberty Base Layer in Fig from Lemieux, which is my favourite colour if you haven't already noticed <laughs> in the new autumn winter collection colours. I hope you enjoy this video. So as I do in all of my unboxing videos, I usually start with a pick and mix so it's going to be no different in today's video I am so excited for this. This is my first Lemieux coffee cup, by the way. I'm a huge coffee and tea drinker, more so tea, but on the way to a whole show, I'm going to be desperate for a coffee, and I'm going to want and I'm going to want something that one looks glamorous in the lorry, because my lorry is going to be glamorous, and something that's going to keep my coffee warm and also make sure it doesn't spill everywhere, spill all over me as I'm drinking it, etc. etc. So Excited. Also the perfect gifts by the way. I am going to be doing more Christmas gift guides this year closer to Christmas. On the approach to Vlogmas, um, so things like this I'll definitely be including in that. But if you have any birthdays coming up, maybe I'll pre buying for Christmas. This is the perfect gift and also as well, because it comes in a box, it's so much easier to wrap. I am not the best wrapper in the world, but when things come in boxes, I have no excuse. I love the fig so much. This actually might be my favourite colour. And I'm actually not the biggest purple fan, but this is the most beautiful purple. It's so autumnal, and I know I say that word all the time, but I am the biggest awesome fan. And I love the word autumnal, and it gets to this time of year, and I can say it as much as I want. <laughs> This is the new coffee cup for my lorry in the fig. It's absolutely beautiful. It lifts up super easily. It's got a lovely drinker at the front as well. It's, one of not, it's not one of those cups that's difficult to drink from or that's going to spill all the way down you as you are drinking it, especially not in your competition wipes. There'd be nothing worse. So this is a really great and practical sturdy coffee cup, which also looks super glamorous for in your lorry. Your competition days and days out. So next I have the four season leg wraps. Now Ringo is at the ripe old age now of 15 and has only just decided that he doesn't like travel boots on his hind legs. I don't know why. Uh, Front legs are fine, back legs have decided because they cover his hocks, we can't move um, and we'll just go into hysteria if we don't get them off straight away. So, <laughs> so I feel like these are a great alternative because I must admit I've been travelling him at the second either in bandages or in exercise boots which yes do offer some protection but I do still feel dry, but I'm still driving with like a little bit of anxiety knowing that not the majority of his leg is covered and protected just in case. I feel like these are going to be mine and Ringo's new best friends so if I take them out of the packaging, again with Lemieux, I just love their packaging, that all their, that all all their boots and bandages come in. I've got them in black just because black goes with everything. They come in pairs, so I've got smalls for his fronts and mediums for his hind legs. This is what the boot looks like from the outside, and this is what the boot looks like from the inside. These are going to be absolutely perfect for him. I know that, and I know he's going to have no issues at all in wearing these. So I'm really excited to now travel him, knowing, knowing that his legs are protected and just having these in the lorry at all times. Next up is a hey tiny. I've already been having lots of comments on my YouTube video since taking Ringo out in the lorry with people saying that I should definitely have a hey tidy as opposed to a hay net because it does create a lot less mess. Of which I've been saying I am getting one, I've just been waiting on its arrival. So I am so excited to use this. I haven't used this before. I just think this is the most clever idea ever. It fits so much hay in here as well. There is so much room for like a really decent size hay, like a really decent size hay net that's going to last Ringo all day long. He's a bit of a scoffer so it does tend to get through his hay quite quickly and again 
I do think this will help slow him down as well as he's traveling and obviously provide so much less mess, so much less wastage and so, <laughs> so much less hay dust all over my lorry. <laughs> and now moving on to some luggage. I am so excited to have the luggage. Oh my goodness. Again in the fig and it's just going to keep everything looking so tidy in my lorry. I've already got OCD and I've only driven it once, so. <laughs> this is the bridal bag. As I've said, it's in the fig. This is gorgeous. There are so many compartments. Zippable compartment at the front here. You can then have a look at the inside. So, obviously Lumia branding logo on the front, a really decent handle at the top as well, and opening up into the bridal bag. So you have the bridal hook here, security clasps as well to keep it in place so it doesn't fall around everywhere. Obviously it's full length to be able to be able to hold your reins etc etc. And there's also two little pockets at the front here as well if you're taking extra curb chain, somewhere safe to keep your gloves or any other belongings at the front there as well. So next up is the Pro Kit Light Grooming Bag, again in the fig. It is literally like Christmas today, I'm unwrapping these <laughs> like a child on Christmas Day. I love the fig so much, it looks so classy and classic and it's such a timeless colour. This is definitely one to, this is definitely one that I'd recommend investing in that's kind of going to be, that's going to stay in fashion as such, season after season and you're going to get so much wear out of it. And again it's a colour that really does go with every horse. I can, I can see it on chestnuts, obviously Ringo's Roan, it looks great on Palominos, on Greys, on Bays. Open it up a bit, obviously, obviously it's just been in the bag it's arrived in. This is the grooming bag. So we have a zippable compartment along the front. This is going to be great for things like platinum bands and things that you need that are small but you need easy access to at all times. It's a really, really great compartment. The pocket on the side, and again a matching one on the other side. Again, great for brushes that you need to just grab as you're, as you're by the ring or anything that you need, just as I, as I say, to just grab with easy access. And again, zipped pocket at the top which enters you into the majority, to the majority area of the bag. It also includes a longer strap as well if you wanted it on your shoulder. And then inside we have a really, really great space to be able to fit all of your brushes and anything you may need on your show day, around the yard, at home, etc, etc. This is such a great grooming kit because it doesn't take up loads and loads of space, but as they say, sometimes the best things come in small packages and there is so much room in here for all of your brushes and anything you may need to take to take to your competition, to take on your day out, to take to the yard to brush your horse in grooming bag. And again, a great present. These are all really, really great presents. If you do have birthdays coming up, you are pre-buying for Christmas. These are all fantastic gifts. And I'm a real fan of receiving practical gifts. So again, really, really practical and you'll get so much use out of this. And of course, to go in your grooming bag, we need brushes. <laughs> and I have many of them. <laughs> so... I have been using this one, not obviously, not obviously in this colour, but I've been using the Tangle Tidy Plus on Ringo's Mane now for the last year and a half, I think, in like a navy blue colour, and I rate them more than anything. In fact, they're even great hairbrushes, so if you're looking for a new hairbrush this year, <laughs> these are the ones. I mean, look at the difference. That's crazy, actually, isn't it? I can review it on the video. <laughs> Take my hair out as it is mulching season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can literally vouch for these being amazing. You'll see them on my YouTube videos all the time. I am always forever using this. So to now have it in a new colour for my lorry, in the fig with its beautiful pink accents, of which you won't know yet, but the theme in my lorry, I'm sure you're not surprised, is going to be pink and purple. I have a pink pooper scooper coming. I have pink buckets, etc, etc. So the fact that this is purple with pink accents goes with the theme perfectly. We then have the massage comb in a fig. Ringo is going to love me for this. If there is anything he loves, it's a massage, it's a good scratch. The harder the better for him as well. He is this is this is gonna be his favourite thing out of the hall. I absolutely know it already. We then have the flexi horse hair body brush. Super super soft and so cool and convenient that it, it literally it flexes. So it's going to obviously mould the contours of your horse as you're brushing. And again, your fingers fit perfectly in the holder there too. We then have the flexi goat hair body brush. This is the softest thing ever, and I just want to like brush myself with this. It may sound weird, but tell me when you feel this, it's not the softest thing ever and you don't want to do the exact same thing. This is lovely. And again, it's going to be the perfect brush at shows. Ringo on the day today is filthy and I would not want this near him because I want this to stay so clean. So this is going to be the perfect show brush when he's all nice and clean and sparkly and just needs to get rid of a little bit of extra dust. We then have the Flexi Soft Body Brush. Again, this is, again, such a lovely brush. This is going to be great for getting all of the dust and dirt off of Ringo. And again, the Flexi is just so convenient and so handy. Next is the Flexi Curry Comb. Great for those dusty, dusty days in the summer when he's had a really good roll in a muddy patch in the winter when it's all lovely and wet. <laughs> and next is the Flexi Scrubbing Brush, again in the fig. I'm going to be using this like you cannot believe on bath days. 
either on the morning of the show or the night before, this is going to be great at scrubbing all the dirt away. I'm actually going to put these all in the grooming bag now. You can see then as well how well these all fit in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven brushes here, and I'm going to show you how well they all fit into how well they all fit into the grooming kit with extra space as well for obviously like show shines and all things like that you're going to want at the show. Makes it a lot more convenient as well when I'm carrying everything into the lorry later. Just take a minute as well to appreciate the pumpkin spice smell that's just drifting over. I just love pumpkin candles so much. Okay, so the brushes are all in here and they've barely touched the surface. This is how cool this grooming kit is. It fits so much. I would probably even, you know the really big, um, oh, what's the brand, is it Cardia and Martin? You know the really big ones they do, the, the mane and tail sprays? I would be able to still fit them both in here, plus fly sprays, plus anything else like hoof oils, etc, etc. There is so much room in this. So my grooming kit is now all ready to go in the lorry. And last on the luggage is the hat and boot bag. Again, so convenient for keeping your boots dust free, your hat nice and tidy and safe. Let me undo it and stretch it all out. Okie dokie karaoke. So this, as I said, is the boot and hat bag in the fig, hat compartment at the front, boot compartment out the back. This, if I undo it here again, all zipped up. The area at the front is for your hat. There is loads of room in there. So, and then out the back here, we have the space for your boots. And there's individual space in here for each boot. So obviously left boot, right boot, boot or whichever one goes in which. I'm <laughs> not very good at my left and right, especially not backwards. Um, but yeah, there's loads and loads of room in here. I use boot bags all of the time, even when I'm at home at the yard, my boots my boots are always kept in boot luggage. And my hat the same as well. It just keeps them dust free, it keeps them safe, it keeps them damage free. And obviously boots aren't cheap, as we all know. <laughs> if you have riding boots, you know that they were not they are not cheap. So so spending a little bit more money on them to keep them protected and to keep them lasting longer is my it's my biggest tip of all. So I'm gonna be using this to death. So now onto some human clothing. And I want to set, I want to set the scene, okay? So I'm waking up and it's the morning of a competition. I have my, my competition wipes on and I don't want to get them dirty. But, but I have a horse that when I arrive at the yard, I know he's going to be dirty because he gets dirty just from breathing. And even though he's been bathed the night before, he's going to be covered in dust and hay and all things that I need to brush off and then end up brown in my competition wipes. So... I want to be warm and cosy because obviously we're coming up to autumn winter. I also want to look smart, but I also want to be wearing a colour that is not going to show the dirt so much and I'm not going to worry so much about stains, etc. And when I get home, I can throw them straight in the wash and they're going to come out just as perfectly as when I wore them at the beginning. That of course means tracksuits. So I have very kindly been sent this year's beautiful new designs of their tracksuits. This of course is in the fig, my favourite colour. So if we start with a hoodie, and the actual name of it is the crossover hoodie in fig. I wear mine in a UK size. I wear everything in Lemur in a size 8 or a size small. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness me. The inside is fleecy. There is nothing worse than buying hoodies that don't have fleecy insides. I am the biggest fleecy fan in the world, especially in the colder weather. I'm going to be getting so much wear out of this, not only obviously at the yard and on competition days, but at home as well. Something I'm definitely going to be wearing to get nice and cosy while watching a film at home or editing in my office, editing this video for example. And also riding in in the winter as well because I also love to ride in a hoodie, have them under my coat as an extra layer when it gets super freezing. So I love this. It also has a really, really great kangaroo pocket at the front and there's also a secondary pocket inside as well with a bit of a mesh detailing yes mesh detail again just offering a little bit of extra protection for your phone and belongings on riding running to a show if you're late etc etc and of course i then have the matching joggers so these are the ladies joggers in fig and they're beautiful i love that they have sparkly details on them i love sparkle and the lilac drawstring as well it complements this so perfectly i am completely obsessed they also have they also have really great size pockets as well like nearly half of my forearm is fitting into that pocket. they're cuffed at the bottom as well so i just know they're going to be super flattering again with a working drawstring as well so you can have them as tight or as loose around your waist as you want to at the beginning of the day maybe you want them a bit tighter than on the way home after getting some cheesy chips at the show <laughs> but yeah you can guarantee i'm going to be in that tracky set on the way to my competition in two weeks time which is going to be vlogged so do you can follow my channel for my first show in my new lorry and also mine and ringo's first elementary test the next item is the passport. passport holder again in the fig but what a good idea it has loads of different compartments obviously your passport can fit inside for extra safety if you wanted to it can just sit inside there's loads of different pockets for membership cards etc etc another pocket up the front here as well and even pockets for cards such as like smaller membership cards that you may want to take with you on the day it's also a little elasticated loop in the middle as well to keep a pen 
This is a fantastic idea. I seriously recommend everybody gets a passport holder for their horse. I actually, now, now I've got this, I can't believe I've gone so long without one of these. This is going to be the most handiest thing to keep in the lorry, literally ever. And the last thing to show you guys before we head to the yard and pack my lorry is some more items for Ringo. <laughs> so the first thing we have is the Capella head collar in fig. This is stunning. This is so beautifully made. Honestly, this is just gorgeous. I just know this is going to look amazing on him. As well. Aside from the beautiful looks of this head collar, this is, this is a head collar that's seriously going to last you for year upon year. It's going to look smart year upon year. It's also going to ensure the safety of your horse in a secure head collar as well. It's beautifully built, it's beautifully designed, it's a beautiful colour. I f like genuinely fully recommend this. This is definitely going to be something that Ringo's going to be wearing, not just in the lorry, but every day as well, for looking super, super smart, but also being super safe in his head collar. We've also got a lead rope. This lead rope is amazing. So Ringo, as we know, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, he likes to eat his lead ropes as he walks and to put that a little bit more simply as he likes to lead himself which often ends up with lead ropes that start off let's say this thick that end up with areas <laughs> of this thick now there is no way he's getting through this this is incredible this is honestly the best lead rope i have maybe ever seen it's called the lemure lasso lead rope this is in black again obviously going to go really well with the fig this is perfect, he is not eating through this. This is the sturdiest lead rope ever and is perfect for stallions. So guys, I have so much more to show you once we get to the yard, once we get into my lorry. So I'm gonna pack all of this up now and I'm going to head straight to the yard and I will see you guys there where we'll organize everything. I'll show you everything else I bought. I have tack shop hauls at the yard ready to go in the lorry. I have a home bar, I have home bargains, Ikea, and what was the other place I went to? B&M and there was somewhere else as well that I went to. For lorry stuff i've got loads of stuff to show you so i'm really excited and i will see you there hello guys so i've just got to my lorry i am so glad i filmed the beginning part at home because it is intermittently pitter patter pitter patter but at the moment the sun is shining hence i've got kind of quite nice lighting but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take out the old rug which stinks i've left the window open in here to try and air it out and it just it's not working so i've got a new rug to put down i haven't measured it so i'm hoping it fits but i'm taking this old smelly rug out first of all because it just it just makes it reek in here um which just isn't the one so i'm going to take this out first so i have said 100 times also footwear choices today 10 out of 10 fashion icon so oh, i don't want anything like horrible to oh it's actually fine it just really smells now i'm assuming it's this that's making it smell yeah it's all like wet and horrible under there as well so very nice I'm also going to shut the window because it's made it a little bit damp in here with the window open but I just thought it might air it out a bit but I don't know if it has or if it hasn't so this can now be shut to hopefully just dry it out a bit. I don't know. But my new rug is here and it's kind of like hay coloured which I thought was perfect because you're not really going to notice any hay or any like kind of dust or dirt on it and it'll probably wash as well so I obviously need to get rid of this one, sweep it out and then we'll carry on my little lorry transformation. So I've just put my boots in, it's now time to put my hat in here. Am I definitely at 100? I don't know, I don't want to drop my hat, hang on. <laughs> I can't do that one handed, hang on. My hat is now securely in there as well. And I'm just going to pop this in the horse bit for a minute. That's where I'm putting all of the extra bits for storage while I sort the first lot of stuff out first. Sort my storage area for the minute. But I can go in there for a second. mountain block out there for a second everything that's taking up space for the first couple of minutes can all just get out there including the new greening kit because we need to empty all of this now and set it all up ready to go now then this area here i do think these might be too short but they're perfect for the for the meantime whilst i save up to get proper seats put in and what i'm thinking is having a proper sofa in this one losing the bottom one off that top one can stay and just having like a little sofa set put in there and either putting in the matching in there or putting a sink in this area i'm not sure or maybe even another cupboard not sure yet but i don't know whether to put a little seat or a sink but this is like nothing that's going to happen asap i tried to wash out these marks and they came the majority out but not completely so i bought these and these were four pounds from denelm um yeah, they are a little tiny bit short, but they're absolutely fine for the second. So I'm just going to set these up and then show you what these look like out. I mean, for comfy seating on a budget, they aren't actually that bad. Um, and they're pretty cute. For £4 each, I think that's pretty good. 
they're just slightly small and this is my problem is I have no patience and I don't come with my tape measure first I just buy and hope for the best and that's the same what I've done with the rug so whether that's going to fit or not we don't know yet um but yeah I think for four pounds each I think these are really really super cute and it just gives you a bit of comfy cushion to be able to sit on and the next thing I've got which can sit in here for a second is a bin because she's going to be filling up now <laughs> scissors that I had to use on my first lorry trip which I've had to use prior to uh, do my lorry. Okay so the next thing I bought is a table which is going to live in the back there but I think I'll just take it out of its packaging and show you guys what it looks like first. Obviously it's going to look really cute with the metal underneath. So this is my little table and she was £12 and she's literally perfect. So if you can imagine, hang on, that's just a little imagining. I'm in a competition, I'm currently sat down, I've got a cute mat underneath me and everything's dry. <laughs> And I want a cup of tea and my breakfast and I can just sit here with my little table. Um, and it's so cute, it's the, literally the perfect size ever. And it fits perfectly, oh, didn't mean to be zooming in, but it fits perfectly here in my little wardrobe as well. <laughs> okay, so I've near enough taken everything out so I can start putting some stuff away. So I think what I'm first going to do is undo these and start packing these individually. I've even got things like bag things, so you know, if you <laughs> so if I take a bag of biscuits, I don't want them to go off, I can class them back together again. I've literally thought of everything. I've got little tiny breakfast bowls. These are a lot smaller than what I thought they were going to be, but they're a pound for my Ikea. As well as some cups. I've got some mugs. Oh my goodness, guys, I've literally got everything. I've even got cutlery. And again, that was about £2.50, I think, for my Ikea. So I'm just going to try and set everything up and then show you guys everything once I've set it up because there's even like loads of stuff in here for example that just all needs putting away. I've even got another mat to go on top of my rug. This one's black and it's sparkly. Okay so the first thing I've done is I've just undone all of my hangers and I've got three of these little bags that I got from Ikea. These are literally I think about 50p each and they're just clothes covers. It'll keep them dust free, spider free, dirt free etc etc. So the day and night before I compete obviously I can put all of my competition stuff in here so it's ready to go and keep, it and keep them clean and tidy with these little bags on the top. So yeah I've got three of those in there and all of my hangers can get pushed back. I'm now just going to put my tape table at the back there as well so that's in and ready to um to go away see I mean the table fits in there perfectly so tidily behind you literally wouldn't even know it's there see I think that's the best part I've got so far <laughs> is it's just it's such a perfect size it's so cute it's so pretty and it just fits now without you knowing it okay so next up I have these little containers which I'm just starting to fill now so I've just put my little bowls in there put my mugs and my cups um my cutlery I'm keeping in the packaging so I don't need it yet so at least it can stay clean and like it can stay nice and clean and contained like that at the second I then, somewhere along the lines, have tea bags. I don't know whether to put in these like this yet or not, but I also have some little mockers because as well, coming, I have... It's not here yet, so actually, I'll turn it around for a second. So the only things that haven't come yet is I have got a camping stove and a camping kettle so I can make tea on the go um, and I've also got a paper scooper that hasn't arrived yet. Ringo's got a fleecy rug from the mirror that hasn't arrived or hasn't like come in yet. Um, and what there's another thing as well. What's the other thing? Oh and a stallion chain for when he's travelling. So that's like the last few little bits and pieces that aren't here yet as you can hear the rain is coming in now. I don't know whether you can hear it pitter pattering or not but I am so glad <laughs> that I did the video, the main video at the home. I did the bulk of the video at home. Um, Oh my god, it's so cosy in here, and now I'm kind of doing it all. It just feels so, so cosy, and I love it. Okay, so <laughs> amongst the chaos, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these mirrors up. Basically, these were a pound each off of IKEA. I bought six with the sticky backs because I just feel like I don't want a mirror to break in here, whereas sticky mirrors aren't going to break, fingers crossed, anyway. And I'm going to put it in the middle of this wardrobe, so I'm probably thinking about here, which is like my face height. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm back and before sticking the first one what I'd like to do is be able to go along like that but I can't because of the door handle and my face height is here which is basically the near enough the level of the door handle so I think I'm going to stick them this way down like that which isn't going to look as good but at least it's a mirror and they're only a pound and there I am <laughs> so two are up and there's four left to go and I just, I feel like it's kind of quite cute, isn't it? For like a DIY little mirror in a little lorry. I think it's perfect. At least I can see myself. And I actually have got these, like, dead, dead straight. It doesn't look dead, dead straight because of this. But it's literally, like, well, you can see it a bit better there. They're dead straight. <laughs> and I'm proud of myself. Okay, so my DIY mirror <laughs> is completo. And for £6, I don't think it's that bad of a job, to be perfectly honest. It doesn't matter that sometimes my head looks like it's in two different places <laughs> because it was £6 and I can just stand up tall. <laughs> 
and you can't see it anyway because and you can't see it all the time anyway because it's in the in the wardrobe so i just think that's absolutely perfect and for six pounds what a bargain also what i've realized since it has literally been tipping it down in here is it does leak anyway so i think especially while i'm on holidays i'm going to get some bits and pieces done so i think i'll leave it matless for the minute because obviously there's no point putting any mat down whilst it's leaking because that's obviously why it does smell in here was just the dampness from the other rug um so i think instead what i will have to do is put this into like servicing or whatever while i'm on holiday in a couple of weeks time i'll use it up until i need up until i go um and then get it resealed or whatever it is that needs doing while I'm away and just get any basically I'm using it as much as I can at the second um, before I go away because I have I have photo shoots lined up I have a competition lined up and I'm kind of my like writing everything down that I think needs doing to it finding out a price then before I go away and then while I'm away for three weeks everything can happen to it that needs to happen to it um, and I can just put it somewhere for three weeks so that is my little plan um, but yeah that is something that I have noticed is it does leak in the rain which is not good um so yeah that is my little mirror I now know to not put anything on the floor <laughs> all the while I don't have the leak sorted situation sorted um but yeah next steps is to continue in here actually next step is I'm going to open these um and put them both of them in here but one in the wardrobe and one in here I think just to just give it a really nice smell all the time I'm really thinking it's really smelly in here the mat was kind of quite smelly um but it kind of just smells like damp so we're going to get the damp situation sorted so this next tray is either going to have to fit on the top and kind of not sit properly which to be fair that doesn't really matter or I can put it up there in here I have a little first aid kit I have some shoe shine actually which I think I'm just going to put loosely in the bottom down there because you always kind of it's one of those things that you always need isn't it is shoe polish um what else can we put in here I'll put these in one of these let's pop you in there I've got this bag full of stuff here as well um which I think I might need straight away opened actually put my little notepad in there so you never know when you're going to need a notepad chewing gum I think I'll keep that in the front uh, lint roller can be another thing that sits down in there. I bought these for like saddle pads and things, so I think I'll just put you guys right up top so you're out of the way. Um, that's a bag for rubbish. See, this is getting really leaky. No wonder it was smelly. It all makes sense now. Um, I've got this for the front. Let me undo this bag and then we'll see what we've got. Let's undo it over here now. This side's getting a bit clearer. We've got more space over here. Right, I've got more mugs. I forgot I bought more mugs. These were literally a pound. Um, are they all going to fit in there? Or can we fit you guys maybe down in there? We'll sit you up right. Here we go. Super job. Um, I've got um, so many tea towels. Um, I didn't realise I bought this many tea towels so you can go home because they're really nice actually. Because I then have tea towels and I've got a blanket over here. Blanket, mm, blanket can fit in there. Maybe a yeah, blanket can go in there. Tea towels can also go in there like so. Those ones can go home. I've got a new travel mug an extra one just in the cases of ever needing one that can fit down in there. I'm going to carry on in here and get some baby wipes. We've got some compies in case I ever get a blister. We've got some hand cream. Got some more plasters again just in case. Another pair of scissors. Deodorant. I've got a warm cozy headband. Some fluffy socks. A tripod holder in case I ever need one of those. And a hairbrush. So that is that little pile there, which is perfect to go up on the top. This is like a self-care pile. Can I do this one-handed? We're going to find out. Yeah. So that's my little self-care section up there sorted. It will pop you upright so you can make everything smell nice in my wardrobe. So a bag, another bag for rubbish. I've got this mat, which is going to at some point need to sit out. There's no point in that while um, it's all wet. Oh, I've got some... Painkillers, I forgot to put in myself a cow one just because I have any painkillers. And I've got some tissues which I may keep in the front actually. What do I do with the tissues? Yeah, I think they can, they can go in the front. I've also then got some Zaflora wipes which can go in here. Some, no, I'll sit those up there actually. 
I'm just going to do a bit of a self care slash cleaning thing. And some new spur straps that can just stay up there for the second. So, so far, this is kind of getting somewhere now. It's a lot more usable than a lot. Okay, so other than my leaky floor, which I need to, as soon as I get home, find somebody to help sort this because it literally is beginning to puddle now. Um, maybe should have left the rug down there for a little bit, but it just smells so bad. Um, but anyway, that's that's the buy to buy now. That's my bin bag. Yeah, is now done. Um, so I've just got my jacket in that I wore here for a second in there for a minute just to keep it out of the way. Everything under there is fine. Mirrors are super cute. My little seat's there as well for the second. Then behind me here, I've got my boot and my hat bag, which obviously won't stay up here while I'm traveling, but to keep it out of the way while I'm, you know, stationary and whatever, it's literally perfect set up there for the second until I have my mat back down. My bridal bag is up there as well to keep that out of the way for the second, and my new head collar is up there as well. See, I've got my other mat here as well to wait to go down when the big rug is down. Mountain blocks back in here. This is stuff for the front. That's a halter for Trudy that I just brought with me. That's for the front. That's for home. Oh, those could do with going up the top, actually. I forgot about those. They've been quite away covered. So I'll just put these up the top in the little cleaning section. Some microfiber towels. I've got one in the back for Ringo as well, but they're just extra storage at the top there. Got some spare gloves to go in here as well in case I have any gloves. Where do I put them in? My, no, I'll put them in here for a second. Just so I've always got them in the actual lorry. They can go down there for a second. Then we're going to go to the horse area and sort the horse area out. So, first of all, I'll take Ringo's bandages in there with me. I've just rolled them all together so they're nice and tidy. And what will I do? I'll put the rug in here. So that's out the way. And this is for the cab, so I'll also put that up there ready to go out of the way and then everything else other than this bag is ready to sort out in here. The first thing I'll do is I'll just tie the hay tidy up just so it's up and out the way and all ready to be filled for my next show. So I haven't properly tied it obviously because I'm going to have to take it down in a couple of days time but this is what it looks like and I just think it's the most amazing invention ever but obviously once it's tied up properly it'll be set up on the top there ready for Ringo to enjoy. And then in this section, so the one next to Ringo, is my actual main like grooming kit area so I'm going to sort this out as I literally threw everything back in here the other day in a rush and now I have a grooming kit to be able to keep it all tidy. So time to sort this out, tap to tidy. Okie dokie, so in here I have my main grooming kit with some plastic bands and my scissors and then down here I have things that are really good just for easy grabbing. So obviously I've just got some products and some sprays, I've got some gel, I've got some wet wipes, I've got some fly sprays, some Vic to stop them from smelling horses sometimes, hoof oil, baby oil. Um, we've got some stain remover, we've got treats at the back, a microfiber towel and just a quick little brush that's easy just to grab um, and then everything for like proper shows and to keep clean and spotless at all times is the main grooming kit at the back which obviously I can take out, grab and put up on either side as I need them once I get to wherever I'm going. I must admit in there is kind of pretty much done now to be fair um, other than obviously filling it up over time with extra things as I have lots more space in there to fill with other stuff. And then we come to this side so up the top at the second I have matching bandages and fly mask sets or ear bonnet sets. I've got his travel boots and at the back I have a spare hay net in case I ever need a spare hay net. I'm also then, this needs to go up at the back but I'll show you that in a second because I rode in that the other day. Um, I am assuming and hoping that my bucket fits in here. Keep it around half a centimetre and I think that would fit. Oh, I don't know, it'll fit like that actually. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, that is super and I can turn it around that way. And just in case I ever need a bucket, my bucket fits in there. Oh, that's perfect. And my dustpan and brush. I'm attempting at the back of a little pile of things that a little pile that I didn't sweep up the other day, <laughs> adding to it. <laughs> so that can go down there. My dustpan and brush can fit on the side of there. Perfect. I've got some extra gloves actually, just in case I have any extra pair of gloves, which I will keep this side and the grooming kit side. And I'll pop them just down there, just in case I ever do need some spare gloves. I've got some spare hat headbands actually that could come on that side, which I'll put away in a second. His riding boots, like his everyday training boots, are actually in that section as well, but they need to go home for a wash before I use them next. I'm taking those home. I'm also going to be putting my watermelon head collar in here as well, just so I always know that I have a spare head collar. That can go into the living whilst we're travelling. It can stay there for the second. And then I'll show you where I'm going to put the saddle pad. So up here in the top of the loose end, this is where I'm keeping all of my saddle pads. 
and they are staying in a little plastic bag up there that won't shut at the second I should really transfer them into two I think um, and that is where my saddle pad storage is and in that side is going to be where my lorry rug storage is going to be but I'm just going to put this one up in there for a second I just can't do it one handed but I may be able to put you up there yeah you can watch me there And now we move on to the cab area because I have new cream seat covers. So yeah, we're going to cover these ones that are just old and just look a little bit dated and try and jazz it up a little bit in here. I also bought this the other day, which I just can't get to fit. And I'm kind of gutted that it doesn't fit, but I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. But it's like a fluffy, sparkly wheel cover to make the wheel look pretty, but it doesn't fit. So I'm going to have to send this back to you. I'll take it back with me today um, and try and get a new one, which is really annoying. I'm having issues. Um, <laughs> nothing seems to want to fit and I can't seem to see a way out. I've just knocked my head on the top, knocked myself out. Um, I can't find a way to bring the, the seats that are joined together down together so I can get this behind it. Does that make sense? Like I've checked online, like I've YouTubed it. And the other side, like on my side, I've got a rolly thing so I can near enough get mine on there perfect. Well, mine is kind of on there perfect. Um, but trying to get this one on is proving really hard um, and I've got a real sweat on like I'm having a hot flush right now um, because I just can't get the blooming thing to go like it they look like they've got floppy ears at the moment and it's just it's not the vibe um, how do you get like a double seat down together I just don't know so I've done the biggest bodge job of the century um, I basically just tucked <laughs> so I mean it, it kind of works kind of doesn't work in some places but for the second it's absolutely fine because at some point I probably would like to match these seats the seats that I get put in the back anyway um, and when I get the person and whoever I find to fix the leaks and stuff I might ask if they can <laughs> see if they can do a better job of putting these on than I can um, but yeah for the second they're absolutely fine they just make it look a little bit prettier in here and from a distance I'll tuck that over there a little bit better um, I don't think you'd notice maybe you would maybe you wouldn't who, who knows but yeah I'm just really gutted that this doesn't fit and I've oh, knocked my hand out now um i've tried all i can to make this fit and it just it just won't so that's a bit of a shame so i'm just going to add the extra bits in here now um such as like an air freshener and things like that and then make it all pretty okay so now i've got a coffee cup in here that i need to wash up actually uh from the other day i have some tissues i've got my sunglasses i've got my phone well no, i haven't i've got some chewing gum in like the phone compartment but then i've just put this little thing up in here to sit my phone i've also got a new phone lead in there as well which is all and yeah we're just a bit more put together so obviously there are still a few things i need i need like i need my paper scoop to arrive which actually is arriving tomorrow um i've got some more like grooming like sprays and things like that coming um what was the thing i've got coming a stallion chain to tie up with when i'm in, in the lorry um oh there was something else i'm missing as well some rugs and i think that's it i think so yeah that so this is like the diy part done as much as i can probably do now obviously i need to get things sorted so i can put my new rug down and that's going to make a massive difference in here um but up until i go away this is kind of as much as it's probably going to happen until i do go away and i am going to get quotes for putting like a sofa in that a, a little sofa seaty thing in there as well um and just see how much it is because if it isn't as expensive as i think it's going to be i can maybe get that done while i'm on holiday as well and then i'll basically come back to what will hopefully be like a brand new lorry but i really hope you enjoyed this video I'll leave all of the Lemieux haul tagged in the description box in case anybody did want to go and shop any of it and I don't think I'm going to be able to tag everything else that was in this haul in this video because I think it would just go on for ages and something that I did buy like in shops and things like that. These seat covers were actually from Etsy I think they were £40 I think something like that um, and they came literally next day which was amazing. And yeah, I think other than that, we're all we're all good to go. I also got a water container, which I forgot it's in my car, so I need to pop that in there as well for really hot days or like long days or whatever. I need to take a big um, a big thing of water for Ringo. Obviously, if I'm going to a show, that is, um, if I'm going to Sammy's, and Sammy's got lots of water there and things like that. Um, but I've got that for show days when I will need some water and obviously water, and I can obviously have my water in there as well for like tea and things like that. So, oh, and my kettle, I need to, I need to pick up my kettle. That's at my mum's house um, and so is the stove. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go and ride now assuming as I'm at the yard hopefully I'm gonna miss some form of rain even though it does look like it's about to tip it down again and typically 20 minutes has been absolutely fine but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon bye